welcome. Let me invite you to, to an imaginative world, our Drama AQ course. In our Drama AQ course, we dream. It's magical. It's creative. It's anything that you want it to be. In our Drama AQ course, you can touch red hot lava and not get burned. You can taste cherry top sundaes and not gain weight. You can hear the roar of a lion and not be afraid. Drama is anything you want it to be. Drama is where unicorns soar and shooting stars light up the crystal skies. Sit back and soar with us to places you have never been before. In our Drama AQ course, we extend our learning. But more importantly, we create new learning with our amazing instructor, Bruno Pileggi. Let us provoke you. Let us entice you with theater pieces we have prepared for you. We begin with a piece entitled A Tree of Life which is a collection of poetry written by four high school students expressing their life thoughts and experiences. A hunched gray shape, framed by leaves, with lake water behind, standing on a rigid rock. George, what are you doing with your life? Who's this Miss Goody Tissue? I thought you loved me. <coughs> yeah, well, you're living your life. Enjoy it. I thought you loved yourself. You do love yourself. George, what's going on? The school called again. Why won't you talk to me? What does she know? Don't listen to her. In any case, you're far gone. It's too late for you. Or is it? The figure is solemn, still, as if waiting. Hopefully, there is a deep seriousness, but also a great calmness. In its presence, the sense of grief and mourning is overwhelming. My left eye, I, 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 covered by my mo mother's t-shirt, stretched out in front of her. Her arms shake with anger. Cruel words are fired back and forth. Forward on back. back. My back. mom's iron grip. She drags me to the door. It's noon. Mom takes out her magic dust. The 
blue and purple bruises become invisible. The laughter hurts my ears. Poor woman. The bed is full of non-stop. They continue down the sidewalk to their houses. The ladies go to their windows and shut the door. A heavy cloud hovers above, the wind whispers as it pushes lightly against the water of the lake, creating little ripples. The shadows are dark and mysterious. An unknown story lies within. She complains. She moans. And she cries. Why is she alone? Why don't they like her? She feels ugly, <sighs> worthless, <I'm> unpretty. <laughs> so she eats. She starves. She, she exercises. exercises. She talks the talk because that's all she has. Talk. talk. Hello? Oh, hi. She drinks to stifle the feeling. Of course. Bottoms up? To have, have an excuse. To have, have your responsibility. Why not? Woo! So that when she's alone with him, <laughs> she can justify her actions. Let him touch her. <laughs> to convince herself that she's wanted. Attractive. I like you too. Steadfastly ignorant of the fact that he doesn't know her name. Nicole. She sobs. <sighs> she laughs. Okay. And dismisses. Bye. Take care. He tells his friends. And they tell her friends. They whisper. She denies, discredits, disregards. <laughs> she cries at night, embarrassed, <coughs> exposed, more unattractive than ever. So, so she starves herself of all. food, confidence, and, and love. I complain, <clears throat> I moan, and I cry. A story of hardship, longing, friendship, achievement, love, obstacles, sorrow, death. <sighs> Although it has endured rough times, the figure stands strong with confidence, determination, dreams, wisdom, aspirations. Let it be true that this is the last picture in the world. York, East York, <laughs> West York, 
and even south of York. <laughs>
are life. We are life. Dear life, if I stay, this would be my summer to die. I looked in several directions, and there are either too many roads or none at all. I stop and tell myself that my parents ought to know. I pause. I thought of the overwhelming grip, the force, beating me against the wall, beating my head, beating my heart, beating. Dear life. Dear life, I can't believe I'm here. Hawaii. Look at that sunset. Seeing it is a dream come true. Feel the breeze. Oh. Thanks, Mom. This final gift made my dream come true. Oh, but I miss you. I miss your laugh, your voice. Look at that sunset. I can't believe I'm here. Dear life. Dear life. Should I say? What would you do if you had a choice? This isn't me. I'm dying on the inside. I'm filled with misery that just drains me inside out. Sometimes you'll see me fixing myself, saying things like, hello, good morning, happy Monday. I'm an imposter. I'm always thinking, should I stay? What would you do if you had a choice? Dear life, dear life, I walk down the hall, but where's the door? Close, turn, jiggle, slide, not knowing if the worst Worst. There should be a worster. My stomach. It's in a butterfly bend. The kind that flies to the sky and flutters on a heartbeat. Ba boom. Ba boom. One foot at a time where I cannot. I can't take a step. Dear life. What was I thinking? Dear, dear life. life. Dear life. Thinking. Thinking too much. <coughs> the weight of these walls. Skull, bones, gray matter. Matter, anger, grief. No. No matter. Matter of fact. Fact one. I beat the odds. 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 Beating, beating. My heart is beating. Breathe. Breath. My heart is beating. Fact two, I will never beat the odds. I am a statistic. I am me. I am alive. Life. Dear life, life is dear.
Thank you for soaring with us to the different presentations. We've taken you to role-playing scenarios, to mime, to choral reading, and now as an improv that my professor, Bruno Pelletti, has no idea about. I'm taking you to an improvisation. And I ask you. Yes. <laughs> Would you enroll in Bruno Pelagi's drama eight Yes, I would. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it would look like fun. It didn't look like work. It was fun. Oh. It was engaging. I tell you, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of emotions. Uh, one thing you're going to learn in drama is memorizing. <laughs> and memorization takes a lot of hard work, especially when there's a change, a student, for example, doesn't feel comfortable with the role and wants to change either some words or a part, I ask you to go into the audience and ask another fellow member if they take the Drama EQ course. I say absolutely not. <laughs> Actually, I'll just say yes, I will. It looks very interesting, and yeah, I would love to. Our creativity, our imagination. I just, uh, I just want to take a minute, and um, I, I'm not one of those stage people, ironically, <laughs> but I just want to thank and this amazing group of teachers that um, have just stepped up to the plate. And, and there's never a day or a moment in our experience together, our learning experience together, where I'm not learning from them. Um, so I'm very humbled by their creativity and innovation because it's what they do is what's making classrooms better for students. And I think that's so inspirational. And also shout outs to my other spec ed um, individuals and primary and junior, you're here as well. Uh, so thank you. Enjoy lunch. Lunch is in the cafeteria, and we'll see you here. A special friend of mine, Shelly Marshall, will be here at 1 o'clock, and you will enjoy her. All right, so we'll see you soon. <laughs>